Back in 2022, I created a model and analysis called Bitcoin Energy Gravity. It aimed to explore the relationship between the price of Bitcoin and its cost of production. One of the key ideas behind the thesis is that every Bitcoin is acquired at one of two market prices, either dollars per Bitcoin or energy times time per Bitcoin. In other words, you can buy Bitcoin with money or you can mine it by expending energy and time to discover it. These are two distinct acquisition prices that should track together over time. If you can buy Bitcoin for $120,000 but mine it for $10,000, there's a massive incentive for entrepreneurs to mine it instead of buy it. Bitcoin is a unique monetary commodity because of its perfectly scarce supply schedule. We know exactly how many Bitcoin will exist at any point in time. If mining costs are significantly below market price, the profit motive will drive capital into mining. As more miners join the network, mining difficulty rises to keep the supply issuance on schedule, which naturally increases the cost to mine and brings it closer to market price, regardless of hardware efficiency or energy access. My thesis is that as Bitcoin adoption grows, so does the mining infrastructure. For example, in 2013, the price of Bitcoin ran up to $1,000 just as ASICs were hitting the market. These new machines made it dramatically cheaper to mine. On paper, you could mine Bitcoin for $10 and sell it for $1,000. That created a massive incentive to mine instead of buy. Energy gravity suggests that markets trend toward efficiency. Rather than buying Bitcoin at $1,000, participants allocate capital to mine at 10, then sell into the market. The same pattern repeated in 2017 and 2021. Prices rose far above production cost, mining became highly profitable, and eventually the market corrected. We created a metric called energy gravity, which tracks the dollars earned per kilowatt hour from running a modern mining rig. The idea is simple. When mining becomes extremely profitable, it triggers a new wave of miners who push up difficulty and ultimately drive down margins. Over time, this arbitrage closes the gap between market price and cost of production. What's interesting now is that energy gravity remains relatively low in this cycle. That means there isn't a huge incentive for rapid mining expansion. I noted this on Twitter. Most public miners are still trading well below their 2021 highs, even though Bitcoin is above its previous all-time high. If miners play a key role in anchoring Bitcoin's price by arbitraging this gap, then this cycle may still be in progress. We may still need one final massive upward move, creating a huge disconnection between the price of Bitcoin and its cost of production before a significant market correction occurs. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.